stipped to contend. The president's personal lawyer Michael Cohen gained access to $774,000 in credit during the 2016 campaign, according to a new report. In February 2016, Cohen increased the bank credit line tied to his Manhattan apartment to $245,000, according to real estate records cited by The Wall Street Journal. Just three months earlier, Cohen and his wife refinanced an existing debt on a Trump World Tower condo owned by her parents and gained access to $529,000 with a new mortgage, according to real estate records. It remains unclear whether Cohen accessed any of the money, or how it might have been used. Federal prosecutors and the FBI are investigating Cohen's financial transactions to see whether he broke any laws while conducting business for Trump, the WSJ reported. Lawyer Michael Cohen, C., looks on as Donald Trump shakes hands with Alden Coffin during a stop at the Roundabout Diner in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, in 2011. Trump was considering a run for president at the time. Jim Cole, AP, investigators are looking into the possibility that Cohen committed bank fraud by either inflating the value of his assets to access loans, or misstating the purpose of the money, according to sources who spoke to the WSJ. Investigators raided Cohen's home, office and hotel room in April, reportedly seeking documents linked to the $130,000 payment he made to Stormy Daniels, an adult actress whose real name is Stephanie Clifford. Cohen said he accessed the money through a home equity line of credit and transferred it to an LLC before it was wired to Daniels in exchange for her silence over an alleged affair with Trump in 2006. Watchdog organizations have filed complaints with the Federal Election Commission stating the $130,000, made just days before the 2016 election, was not reported as an in-kind contribution. Giuliani told the New York Times that Trump reimbursed Cohen a total of $460,000 or $470,000 after he settled several problems for the president. Drew Unger, Getty Images, in an interview with Fox News host Sean Hannity on Wednesday, Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani contradicted the president and said he reimbursed Cohen for the hush money. Giuliani later, told the New York Times that Trump reimbursed Cohen a total of $460,000 or $470,000 after he, settled several problems, for the president. The former mayor of New York did not clarify what those problems were.